OK, in this question what we're asked for is we're asked to find the equation of the normal to a curve. Quite often the case that we might want to or be asked for the equation of the tangent or the equation of the normal. In both cases, if we're asked for a tangent or a normal, we need two pieces of key information. We need a point to work with. Now, in this question, that's very obvious. They've given us the point one two straight away. And we are going to need a gradient, a slope. If we don't have a point, if we don't have a gradient, we cannot get any further. To find the gradient for this particular curve, we need to differentiate. We need to find ourselves a gradient function. dy dx, the gradient function, to tell us the slope of this particular curve. x cubed becomes x cubed, we multiply by the index, and then we subtract 1. The plus 1 makes no difference. Plus 1 to a curve will simply move the curve up the axes. It will not change the gradient. So constants, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, minus 7, minus 8, disappear. They give us no problems at all. When we differentiate, they just go. So we have a gradient function here dy dx equals 3x squared and because we know the x point which is 1 we can say that at x equals 1 dy dx the slope the gradient of the curve is 3 times 1 squared so the slope is 3. What we've found out so far we've not found the normal we have found the slope of the curve we need to know the connection here we have a quick look what we've found out there you see a picture of x cubed plus 1 you can see in blue there the tangent line. We can see the point 1, 2 has a gradient 3. If we differentiate the curve we can here, we see 3x squared. And of course, if we move along the curve, let me just get rid of that. If we move along the curve, then we see that that tangent line takes the slope of the curve at any point, changing as it goes. And at that point, we have a tangent with a gradient 3. Of course, if we go further on there we, we see a zero gradient to that point of inflection. Let's go back to the point we're interested in. The normal, the normal is at 90 degrees to that tangent. There we go, in green. They share the point but they do not share the gradient. Our task is to find the equation of that normal. Let me go back to the question. Now if we have dy dx equals 3 the equation of the, the gradient, sorry, of the tangent, then we now need to consider the normal. The point they share and the gradient well if we turn a tangent line through 90 degrees we get a normal line if we turn through 90 degrees, then the vertical becomes horizontal, the horizontal becomes vertical, and so the tangent has a gradient of 3 over 1. We turn it, and we get a gradient of 1 over 3. Of course, if it's a positive gradient and we turn it 90 degrees, it becomes negative. So we see the connection between tangent and normal gradients. They turn over, they reciprocate. 3 becomes 1 over 3 and the positive goes to negative and of course negative would go to positive. From here very easy we simply need to put our numbers into the general equation of a straight line this works every time if we want a straight line we simply need to put in the, gr the point which is 1 2 and we need to put in a gradient which is minus a third. Having done that, what we will have is we will have the equation of the straight line. We just substitute into that general formula. Because I've got my third, I'm going to multiply by 3 so I can get rid of some fractions. I'm going to get 3y minus 6. Multiply by 3 to give me minus 1. I get rid of the brackets. 
and then I'm going to rearrange so that the equation equals zero. I'm going to add the x to both sides. I'm going to subtract the one and I will have the equation of the normal there. And that is our question finished. If you're in a exam with a calculator, if you're faced with a question like this and you have a calculator at hand, then one of the things you can do is you can find out the gradient on curves using your calculator. Uh, to do this, what you might want to do is, if we press shift and the menu, so we go to the setup option, input mode I've got linear, I'm going to choose math mode, F1, back to my screen. Math mode gives me lots of options on my menu here. Um, if I press F4 math menu I see this d by dx differential gradient F4 I'm going to choose it. d by dx I'm going to give it the function that I used a second ago. I'm going to make sure that that's it's not in the index, that's x cubed plus 1, that's correct. And I'm going to suggest to it that I would like the gradient at x equals 1, and hopefully it will tell me something I already know to confirm that I have indeed a gradient of 3. 3 over 1 becomes 1 over 3 minus, and then I use the general equation of a straight line which I can put my point I can put my gradient in and it will create for me the equation of the normal